my knee. Hello. You didn't know that I have a speech problem. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you why I call it a problem instead of an impediment. Years ago, when I first had a stroke, I called a business phone number and I said, I'm Ryan Sanders, I have a speech problem. And then they say, what kind of disease is that? <laughs> so that's why I say problem now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my book is called Concerned But Not Consumed. Mm -hmm. And what it is, I was a homicide detective for the Detroit, Detroit Police Department about 16 years ago. And, and some of the people is my age might remember the case, the Highland Park serial killer. Well, I've got a confession from him. Huh. And wow. by me doing that, it just wow. kind of pointed me to a national fame, notoriety. I was in Vanity Fair magazine. It was going to make a Hollywood movie about my police career and the whole thing. But unfortunately, one month later, after getting an installment check, I had this stroke. So what basically what my book is about is how I went from up here, down, down on and back up. But the title of concern but not consume, what that means is that my book is for everyone. Don't be consumed with any problem that you have. Just be concerned with it. Hmm. But once again, I want to reiterate my website. It's www.concernnotconsumed.com. Now, for all the authors here, go slide, take that information and go to my guest book and, and get you some free advertisement across the world. And I, I have, I'm, I'm going to cut my time short because I got a 12 year old granddaughter who wants to read some poetry that, that she did herself. All Thank right. You. All right. Yeah. Next, we have Shayla Sanders, um, Mr. Sanders' granddaughter, who will present to us her poetry pieces. All right. All right. Hi, my name is Shayla Sanders, and I attend school in Rochester, Michigan. And the first poem I'm going to read to you is You Don't Know How I Feel. You don't know how I feel to hear people talk to Paul, to have someone you wish was there, but because of their sickness, all you can do is hope. When hope isn't enough, you turn to God and hope he or she will return. All you feel like doing is crying every time you think about it. You know they love you, but doesn't always show it because they're not there. You don't know what it's like to want what you can't have because of something that's not your fault, but you blame yourself for hurt and pain that can't be erased if you forgive and forget. You don't know how it feels to love someone so much you believe your love will change them. But when it doesn't, you believe and pray, and that's all you can do. Because God hears and knows your pain, but I wish it would change for my good and not my heart. All right. The next one is, you'll know my pain. You don't know what it's like to be loved by everyone, but the one person you yearn to love you enough to change is doing the same things over and over until they get tired. My pain is deeper than love. It's about trust and forgiveness. You don't know my pain when I'm alone or by myself with nothing to do but embark upon greater things in life. But in my heart, I'm always sad because I all, all I want is a happiness for a change, even when I know it's past just love. Because if they loved you enough, they would have changed a way long time ago. 